My name is Dörte Spengler Ahrens and I'm from Germany and CCO at U von Mann. My personal pick of the day in the platform cross jury is definitely from Kraft Foods and it's for the world's largest blind test. The story behind is that they had a new recipe for their big seller, the mac and cheese. They just changed the ingredients from being not artificial flavored, not artificial color anymore, but having it organically and uh, so it's, the, the food became better. But they didn't change the package and they let nobody know. So millions of Americans bought three months long the same thing they thought, but they, they didn't know that it was, has changed. They wanted to get out of the discussion that the taste is different, it doesn't taste so yummy anymore. And after three months of just, just doing this, they came up and said, guys, uh, sorry, nation, we were like blind tasting you and you didn't know. So the best proof that it didn't change in yumminess is given, yeah? It's here, it's obvious. Nobody can say it's not good anymore. It's like a Trojan horse, you know? They, they just had a wonderful idea of a new way of campaign. It's so innovative. The loyalists are saying, don't change the taste. And some parents are saying, my child is a finicky eater and the only thing they'll eat is your mac and cheese. If you change the taste, I may have nothing left. For the past three months, we've been quietly selling Kraft macaroni and cheese with no artificial flavors, preservatives, or dyes. And guess what? Kraft claims you can't taste the difference, and they can prove you can't taste the difference because they changed this recipe three months ago, and they've now sold over 50 million boxes of the new recipe without people noticing. Kraft is reportedly rolling out a new recipe for Takani.